Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, they're gonna be reacting to you see this moment after you die. Guys, this is gonna be scary. I I can tell you, I was scared of that. Maybe I am, but I don't think I am anymore. But guys, let's check this out together. A few moments after you die. When we die. Our soul departs from our body. And the soul goes on a journey. And that is when the soul descends into the grave to be reunited with our bodies. And when the soul is coming down, it witnesses the janaza, the funeral. And your body is lying there on the ground, wrapped up, getting ready to be buried. And you're descending and you're seeing this, and you're hearing it, you're experiencing it. And when the people then take your body and place it in the grave. Your soul descends in there, into the grave, to be reunited with your body. And then, your loved ones, your friends who were there at your janaza, they will start shoveling dirt, start picking up dirt with their hands and placing it in the grave, throwing it on top of you. And you will feel it fall on top of you. And they will do this until you are completely covered up. And you will be there in the grave, covered up. And you will have consciousness. You will be alive. Not physically, obviously, but your soul will experience this. They'll walk away. They'll leave. And you will hear their footsteps as the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said that you will hear their footsteps as they walk away. And you will be there alone, in the grave, by yourself. Darkness. Silence. What happens at that point? Two angels come to you, Munkar and Nakir, and they ask you three questions. Perhaps the most important questions you will ever be asked, and the three most important questions you will ever answer. And those questions are, what is your deen? Who is your prophet? And who is your Lord? And if you answer these questions correctly, all three of them, your stay in the grave will be one of peace. You'll have peace, you'll have pleasure. Until the day of judgment, when the horn is sounded and you are raised up out of your grave. But if you don't answer these questions correctly, all three of them, your stay in the grave will be full of pain. So we must answer these questions correctly. But here's the problem. A lot of us say to ourselves at this point, I'm good because I'm a Muslim and I know the answers to these questions and I'll answer them correctly. This is a problem because the answers are not given as many of the scholars say. The answer is not given with your tongue. The answer is not given with your brain. The answer is given with your heart. What is in your heart will come out at that moment. If you lived your life not really striving to be a Muslim, a true Muslim, trying to practice, then Islam really was not in your heart. So we have to make sure that we're striving, again, to the best of our ability. I'm not asking for perfection. I'm not asking for scholars. I'm not asking for you to be of the best character like the Prophet, peace be upon him, but we must strive for it. So that on that day, when these angels come to us and they ask us these questions, what is in our heart will naturally come forward. The answers, the correct answers, will come forth. After the, we pass the test of these three questions, what happened? An order from Allah with five glad tidings. First, the grave will be furnished from Jannah. The second thing will happen, the person will be clothed from the cloth of Jannah. All these are told to us by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they have authentic hadith to support them. And then the person in the grave, a gate of Jannah will be opened for him or her. And its breeze will come to him or her. And he smells its fragrance and he feels the delight. A fourth, the grave will be made spacious as far as the eye can see. The life of the barzakh, the life of the grave is completely different than this life. Allah will make the grave very spacious. And fifth, he will be given 
the glad tidings of Allah's pleasure and Jannah. Allahu Akbar. Then a man with a beautiful face, beautiful garment, and sweet odor comes. And the person in the grave said, Who are you? You are. You look so good. You have such a beautiful smell. Who are you? Your face is perfectly beautiful. Then the person will reply, I am your good deeds. I am that salat that you prayed. I am that sadaqat that you gave. I am the Quran that you read and you memorized. I am the fasting. I am the struggle that you went through. I am the two rak'ah that you prayed in the middle of the night. I am, I am all the great amal. A man with a good face that will be our companion till the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. فَوَرَبِّكَ لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ عَمَّا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal swearing by himself. فَوَرَبِّكَ What is he saying? I will ask them 100%. I will question everyone about what they used to do. We will be questioned about everything. Everything. Alhamdulillah, we are happy to announce the launch of the One Islam TV app. Guys, with all this, and this, this actually got me thinking. Like, I was thinking about Christianity. I won't lie. Like, I won't lie. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. So, I was thinking about Christianity and I was thinking about we believe in doing good, but we don't think it will count for us as good. Did uh, we don't believe in good did stuff like the good did stuff actually makes sense, but it's kind of seems like you're buying your righteousness and we believe God love and grace actually pays for that. But like Christianity is a religion I don't force you to do anything. Don't force you to pray, don't force you to fast, you don't force you to worship, it don't force you to do anything, but as a true Christian, you just have to like is something you are supposed to do. But you're not fast, but you know it's mandatory. So I, I love the story, but it kind of different from what I know because I believe when you die, you you die too. But I believe that there's judgment, but I believe everyone will be judged at the last day. But the last day, I believe some people in here. I don't believe it. Like, it's crazy. Guys, do you think people are in hell already or... Or we are waiting for the last day? Because it says in the Bible that the last day people will come out from the grave. And clearly, yeah, it still says that uh, people are going to resurrect from that grave. So... Yeah, ask me a question in the comment section. Please answer me, like... Answer me, I want to know more about the last day because I want to know if we're going to resurrect or we're going to die and wait for the last day for to resurrect. So I believe in the Antichrist, like when Jesus come back again, he's going to take the believers and the unbelievers are going to stay and suffer torment and stuff like that for like six, eight years, something like that. But tell me if you think we, when you die, you go to hell or you're going to wait till jesus come before you ascend from grave and go to heaven but guys don't forget to like just got my channel i'll see you next time guys